important that we will watch out for tomorrow will be the Monetary Policy Committee meeting and its uh, uh, results. The two-day meeting begins today. And ahead of that meeting, uh, we normally speak with uh, our own Citizens Monetary Policy Committee. That's five well-known economists. Uh, just listen to a slice of the conversation. It's actually liquidity, abundant liquidity in the market and uh, what the Reserve Bank might do about it. At a broad level, first, there needs to be some kind of a guidance on how comfortable or uncomfortable RBI is about this so-called excess liquidity situation. Uh, if you recall when RBI moved from the tight liquidity to neutral liquidity, the governor expressed that it could take about a year, two years to make this transition. Yes. So in this case, from this excess liquidity to neutral liquidity, how much time RBI is comfortable giving the markets mm -hmm. in making the transition is, I think, going to be quite crucial. What would you advise as a monetary policy member? Would you leave liquidity as it is and not signal liquidity tightening? Live with the contradiction of a, a neutral policy but excess liquidity? I think the RBI is now in a <coughs> well, good position to at least keep the liquidity sloshing around for the time being because all the impulses are now favorable. If you look into the extended rate, capital inflows, export growth rate, even the growth numbers. So RBI can, RBI can actually itself give it a little time to give growth impulses a push. Sajid, would you go one step further and say that an SDF be created because it's very good to create these institutions yes. as <coughs> and you were one of the authors of that report good to create that institution give it a higher rate than uh, the reverse repo rate uh, simply because banks need help the issue is not the rate the issue is whether you suck out the liquidity durably they are sucking this out every day through the reverse repo mm. but the term reverse repos have not been subscribed very well so the object of an stf would primarily be to absorb the liquidity in the form of a term deposit mm. whether that's 14 days or 28 days that's a matter so of so you discretion. would want the deposit so number one you would want to suck out this liquidity in a term deposit okay number two as sonal said you don't want to do it by disturbing the operating target, which is to say that the call rate must still operate in the range. Mm. So what you want to do is take out the inframarginal call liquidity, but at the margin, banks will still go to the reverse repo window, so your call rate doesn't change. Would you allow liquidity to remain surplus sir, at this point in time and not drain it, or would you have the Reserve Bank drain liquidity uh, in a permanent way through a CRR or uh, an OMO? Don't drain yep. the liquidity, leave it as it is. Drain. Okay, drain out the liquidity. Okay, gradually remove. At current levels, don't drain the liquidity. Uh, gradually drain, but not through the CRR or OMO sales. Do it through a remunerated SDF.